not on the bed. No, get up. Come on. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup so I look a bit crazy right now but I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys and explain some things that are going on and I thought now is a good time as any. Basically if you can't tell today's video is going to be a kind of weekly vlog except it's not going to cover all days of the week. It is just going to be important parts because this vlog is going to be like a getting ready with me for my birthday slash my trip. So first of all I've got some explaining to do. I wanted to say that I'm sorry that I missed an upload the other week. I'm just doing this in the viewfinder, I don't have a mirror. Um, I missed an upload the other week because basically I had an exam and I was meant to have it in May but that was the same day as my grandpa's funeral so I couldn't go to sit my exam at the same time as everyone else. So I had an exam and I thought it's an exam, I want to prioritise it before everything else so that's what I did and I missed an upload and I would seem sorry but like I'm also not because it was an exam. Another thing is that today is the Wednesday. The Wednesday? Today is Wednesday the 13th of August I think. Basically my birthday is on the 30th and then a couple of days after that on the 2nd of September I have booked myself a trip away to go to Thailand and I'm so excited. I wanted to go to Thailand a few years ago. If you've been watching for a while you would have seen that I was planning on going but things sort of fell through and I never went. So this year I've decided to go myself because I haven't got anyone else to go with. Um, basically, I'm not completely myself. I'm going on a group tour. Like, I won't know anyone that's going there until I get there. But I'm fine with that and I've heard that Thailand is a really friendly place and everyone speaks English and it's really easy for solo travellers and everything. So I thought that a group tour would be a good way to sort of ease myself into solo travelling and things like that. And also try not to give my mum a heart attack while I'm away because she will probably worry but I'm going to get a Thai SIM card so then I will have um, internet like all of the time I'm assuming so I can keep Instagram and Snapchat and my mum updated. So the reason I'm starting this vlog today, this is really hard to talk while doing my eyes and I'm aware that it looks a mess, I just wanted to whack something in the crease because I'm not going for a crazy look today, I just wanted to look a bit better than usual. So the reason I'm starting with this vlog today is that I'm going into town to get a, crup a, a, crupel, a couple of travel vaccinations. I already got typhoid last week and today I'm going to get rabies. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not going to get rabies. But I'm going to get the rabies vaccination and um, Either hepatitis A or hepatitis B, I can't remember which one. The one with the blood, that one. Do I want to do eyeliner? No, I'm not gonna do eyeliner. So basically that's what I'm doing today and I thought that I would just take you along with me. I'm also going to go into a couple of shops like Primark to try and pick up some cheap clothes because I don't really want to buy anything that's gonna get ruined because we're doing all sorts of different activities and if it gets ruined, I want to just be able to, I mean, no, it's not the best, but I just want to be able to sort of chuck it away if it gets ruined and not spend a lot of money on clothes but I also need to buy some because I live in Scotland and it's not exactly the same climate as I'm going to be going to so I don't really have many clothes that are suited to warm and wet because here we just have cold and wet and we just wear jeans and things all the time and I'm not going to be wearing jeans in 98% humidity so that's the plan. I also bought a few things um, yesterday. I think I'm gonna show you them when I get home. I will do like a little backpacker haul. Um, that's my backpack in the background, by the way. It is 40 liters, so I haven't actually tried fitting all the things I wanted to take in it, like a practice run, because obviously I don't have everything yet. So I don't know how that's going to go, but obviously I will take you along with me for the ride and I'm so excited. Obviously my nails and my eyebrows and my hair are all a mess, like they need done, but that's what I'm also gonna put in this vlog because obviously I don't want to get them done until right before I go. 
there's no point otherwise it will just look raggedy again by the time I go so that's the plan for that and I will take you along with me as well for that so basically this vlog is just going to be I don't know how long it's going to be I've been talking for eight minutes already it's going to be like a uh, get ready with me for my trip slash my birthday because obviously my birthday is a few days before my trip I'm turning 21 so it's quite a biggie I'm really excited so that's just what I thought I would update you on and also update you on where I've been for a couple of days there should be a video out now before this one comes up if there is I will link it up in the card so I had my exam yesterday that's out the way I also quit my job because basically I didn't really like it and I was a temp anyway I'm trying to do this without a mirror which is proving to be quite difficult I was a temp anyway so like they didn't really want to keep me on and I knew that like they didn't really have my best interests um, at their heart because they, they're an employer and they capitalism. So I thought I would just quit um, a couple of weeks before my contract was meant to end anyway and so my exam's out of the way, I've quit my job, I'll have more time for YouTube now I'm hoping and I can really get excited for my trip now because everything's out of the way and I don't really have anything else to focus on like work or an exam. This looks so ridiculous but I'm keeping it on until I've done my spray. I think that's all I have to say right now so the next clip you should see me after my travel vaccinations. I hope they do it in one arm so that I can still sleep on the other one but we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds. Hi guys, so it is later on in the same day. I am back from town and getting my vaccinations and everything. I have, I can't really show you. I have two little, wait, two seconds. I have two little plasters. This one has got a wee bit of blood on it, which is, I didn't obviously look, but um, I had to have a lie down and a glass of Lucasade afterwards because I started feeling a little bit faint headed and warm. So they were really nice about that, but I have to go back on Friday for another one and then my last ones on Tuesday after that. I'm not really looking forward to that now because I thought that I was going to be fine. But apparently not, so now I'm worried in case that happens again at my other ones and the hepatitis B one, it was quite big, like you could feel it going in, which was cool. I mean, it's over like that, but it was still not very nice and um, my arm feels okay and I did some shopping in Primark and got some bits for backpacking. I don't know whether I'm going to put it into this video or make it into a whole separate video, but if it is, I will link it up here and if it's not, then I will just continue talking about it. So I'll just show you the bits that I had already picked up prior to today first. My hair does not want to cooperate. I get I got home and I wanted to put it in a bun and then I remembered that I still have to film this video so now it just wants to go in a bun but it has to look nice for this video. So the first thing I picked up was this bag and this could be used for clothes or wet clothes or laundry it just says stuff me with your stuff and i think this was one pound i got this from flying tiger and this is really good and it's obviously soft and moldable so it'll fit very well in my bag i haven't quite decided what i'm going to put in here yet but so far it's being used to hold everything that i bought so the first thing that i bought was this travel detergent i got this from Superdrug. it is 100 mils and i might do my laundry in a laundrette but if I'm ever like in a hurry and I need something, I think it would be good to have this and I can just do a bit of scrubbing in the sink and then let it air dry because it'll be very hot anyway. The second thing is a Nivea shower cream rich moisture soft. So this can be kind of like a body wash and a moisturizer two in one. So I picked up one of those. Then I already had this, but I'm gonna bring it with me. It is a travel size Batiste blush dry shampoo so that will be good I'm not sure how much I'm going to want to do my hair because it will probably be very frizzy in the humidity so I'm going to have to try and combat that with everything that I possibly can following on from the frizzy humidity that I will face in a couple of weeks time I'm also bringing a mini size frizzies I brought this I picked this up a couple of months back before I even had booked anything. I just saw it in Primark and I knew that it would be really handy one day for travelling so I picked that up and I will be bringing it. I think it is, it's only 5 mils so it will take up no space. I'll take it out of the packaging when I pack it all anyway. And my grandma gave me this, she had some leftover which is a Boots Repel Insect Repellent Roll-On. 
because I do not want to get bitten by any mosquitoes. So I'm just going to use this to stop that from happening. Then I just have my travel toothbrush, which always stays in my toiletries bag anyway. There's not much interesting about that. I'm also going to make up a little first aid kit with like some um, paracetamol and things in it. So my grandma told me that it would be a good idea to pick up some Imodium. So I picked up some of these oh, and I'll be taking that with me as well because I do not want to get caught out. Following on from that, <laughs> I picked up some Calpol 6 Plus sachets because I can't take pills so I need to take sachets so I'll be taking these and adding them to my Imodium and making my little first aid kit to bring with me. Also got a travel toothpaste, I'll take this out of the packaging obviously as well to bring it with me. And I got the Max White one because I want these pearly whites for my holidays. I also picked this up in Flying Tiger. This is 10 deodorant wipes. And I just thought it'd be handy to have wipes and they're really small and thin so they can just squeeze in anywhere. I also picked up a new one of my deodorant because my deodorant is nearly done and I don't want to run out of it when I'm out there and I can't buy a new one. So I just got a Dove Maximum Protection in the pomegranate and lemon verbena scent. And that is the deodorant that I use, if you ever wondered about that. Following on from my first aid kit, I also picked up these Vilco washproof plasters to follow and put in the um, first aid kit because I'm going to be swimming and in water pools and things and if I cut myself I don't want the plaster to fall off every time and it's also going to rain a lot when I'm there so waterproof ones were a must so I'm going to put that in my first aid kit as well. The last thing I have in this bag is my Soleil moisturising after sun lotion. This is 30ml, I picked this up in Superdrug as well and I'm hoping that I don't get burnt, but also I feel like if I don't bring after sun, then I'll just curse myself to get burnt. So just bring with me and hopefully I won't need it, but it would be good to have anyway. So that is everything in my little travel bag there. I've already been talking for nine minutes and I don't know whether to split this vlog into one really long one or two because I still have some more stuff that I need to show you for my backpack that I bought, but I don't really know what to do about that. We'll see. I mean, I'll already have decided by the time you see this. So that is everything that I'd already bought prior to today for my backpacking trip. And now I will just move on to everything that I picked up today. So the first thing that I picked up today was from Savers and it is a waterproof pouch. It just looks like this. You can pop your phone in it or your travel documents. I'm not quite sure how waterproof this is because it was a pound. But I thought it would be helpful to try anyway because it's going to rain a lot when we're there. Um, it's like the wettest month of the year for Chiang Mai. I want to get my phone out sometimes and I don't want it to get ruined if I'm getting my phone out and it's raining all the time. So I thought that this would be helpful to try. So I just got that for a pound. The next thing that I bought I'm wearing, so I would just show you in the cutaways. These are from Primark, just some £2.50 plain red shorts with white piping. And I'm not really sure if I'm gonna wear these out yet. I feel like these are more like a pajama short. But we'll see how I get on because they're really comfy and easy and lightweight and you don't have pockets but I thought it would just be handy to pick those up anyway and they wouldn't take up any space. And then the next two things are the same style but in different colours because I tried them on in the changing rooms and this was the only style of short that I really liked so I thought while I like it I would just buy the different colours of the same one. So basically they look like this. I got them in a size 10. I'll do cutaways of these as well. They've got pockets at the side here which was really important to me. It's a nice lightweight flowy material so that it will dry easily. It's got a tie at the front there so you can tighten it at the waist and this one is just like muted pinks, browns, blues, navies. I quite like this one and that's that. It was £4 and then the next one that is exactly the same but in different colours is this one that is a bit brighter. It's got pink, yellow, green, blue and it's also got the same tie at the front. It's also a size 10, got the same pockets and I mean just looks the same but in a different colour really. So I will do cutaways of all of these and you'll be able to see them on. The only shorts I own right now are denim 
and I didn't really want to take, I'm going to take one pair of denim shorts with me, but I didn't want to take more than one pair because I knew that it would be really uncomfortable and they wouldn't dry easily. My focus. They wouldn't dry easily and I wanted, I still want to pack material that's going to dry easily basically. So I picked those up. They were £4 each and then the red ones were £2.50. So that wasn't expensive at all, but I had to go in quite quickly because I was worried that they wouldn't have any shorts left because it's getting into autumn but luckily they had a few left so I picked those up and that is everything that I picked up today I think I picked up a few other things but I've already tried them on and I'm going to send them back so I don't see the point in showing you them that was really fast so I think that's all I've got to say today I don't know whether I will be ending the vlog here and doing a separate one with my other things that I'm doing to get ready so if I am then leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me and my second get ready with me for my trip and birthday vlog. Comment anything you want to comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I